bless the eternal Lord, whose promise here we claim, whose gift of grace are freely poured on all who name your name. With thankfulness and praise, we stand before your throne, intent to serve you all our days and make your glory known. Christ the Redeeming Son, who shares our human birth, and by his death salvation won for every child of earth. Inspire our hearts, we pray, to tell your love abroad, that all may honor Christ today and follow him as Lord. Christ the ascended King, exalted high above, whose praise on and in ages sing, whom yet unseen we love. When mortal life is past, your voice from heaven thrown shall call your children home at last to know as we are known. We join in prayer. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the words of St. Peter this morning. We pray that you would give us courage as we live our lives, even in times of temptation in times of persecution, in times of trouble and trial, that you would make us bold uh, to live confidently and that your hand of blessing and protection would be upon us always. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks this day for those who are graduating from various schools. Uh, we rejoice with our high school graduates uh, we pray for your blessing upon Reagan, Jaden, Eric, Graham, Adriana, Hallie, Jackie, Mercedes, Richard, Dawson, Alicia, and all other high school grads. Also, we give you the thanks for the gift of higher education and pray for your blessings upon Byron, Kelly, Michael, Saren, Rachel, Franny, and all others who are graduating various institutions. We pray that you would be with them, with all these students in their, the next stages that they enter of either further education or, or looking for jobs. We pray that you would provide uh, for each one of them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, on this memorial weekend, we uh, join with people across our country and in giving thanks to you for those who have given their lives for the defense and freedom of our land. Help us to remember their sacrifices and continue to fight for the values that they did. Lord, we thank you also for all who serve currently in the armed forces. Pray that you would protect um, each of them. And, and Lord, we remember this weekend also those um, who lie in all of our cemeteries especially for all those who have died in the faith. We thank you for their faith, for their eternal life with you, and, and for the encouragement and witness that they are to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you give life and you take it holy and blessed is your name. We pray that you would be with the families of B. Jacobs and Phil Revering, that you would comfort these families in the loss of their loved ones, 
that their eyes would be fixed upon you and that their ears would hear the promises of your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we commend to you those who are ill, those who face surgery, those with cancer, those in any need. Uh, we remember this day in particular, Jerry Lee, Donna Carger, Chuck Jensen, Rosamond Perry, Ron Kep, Pastor Jim Keller. Lord, and those we name in our hearts, Be with each one, grant them healing according to your will, and fill them with your joy and with your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace now and always. Amen. We join now in our closing hymn, Christ be my leader. for joining us in worship this morning. Pray God's blessings upon all of you. Um, this coming week, we'll have the Compline service again at 7 p.m. Invite you to join us for that online. The, uh, if you need a mask, we have a number of homemade masks at church. Just stop by. We'd be glad to uh, give you one of those. Um, the future uh, scheduling. Uh, Elder Mel, women are planning to meet, yes, on June 4th, Thursday uh, in the afternoon at 1.30. Also on June 4th, we're hoping to have foot care offered again. Uh, stay tuned for that or, or call the church um, in the next few days to find out for sure. But uh, we'll, And we'll share that next weekend as well. Also, you've probably seen in the news, uh, the Missouri Synod and other uh, conservative Lutheran churches and the Catholic Church um, and plans to uh, reopen 
uh, this week and, and to have services next weekend. So we are uh, considering that advice and possibility. Our elders are meeting actually in between when this was taped and when you're listening to it. Uh, so you may want to check our website, um, our Facebook page, or call the church office, but there's a possibility perhaps that we would have um, in-house worship on May 31st. I think though we would also most likely also have the online worship like this, as well as parking lot worship, but just have one more option. So we'll keep that in your prayers. If you have any advice, uh, let us know and, and uh, pray for God's uh, protection uh, in these days and uh, safety and uh, that he would uh, shelter us in his uh, strong and loving hands. Uh, the Lord be with you this day and this week and keep you in his care.